Hello guys, welcome back to Tell We Our channel on YouTube again. So in this video, I am going to show you how to set up a hotspot projector on your MacBook Air running on Windows 7. So if you're looking for a tool or a solution to project internet through hotspot into your mobile device or tablet, this video is right for you. So here I'm I am using Laybao free Wi-Fi 5.1 and I will provide a description I will provide a link to download this software application to install on your window through the description below so now I will guide you through the process and the step-by-step -step of how to install and set up the Wi-Fi projector hotspot Wi-Fi projector so first of all you're gonna go ahead and open this software application turn it on click on it you make a double click and wait for the load it's actually 11 MB megabyte not really big pretty small so now here we have this pop-up window the yellow one and here with the middle button press on it which means to install so the process will install the entire software into your system now it load up to 33, 35 like that until 100% complete again this is free with no additional charge you can project your hotspot with customized SSID and password and it fully operational I have used it for many time but before I used the Connectify before this software I used the Connectify software it's the same type that project hotspot but the connectify requires some additional charge over it just like the way that you have to buy the license and in order to have it run smoothly or correctly but for this label Wi-Fi it's free it's actually Chinese software developed in China and it performing pretty well I think so now we're pretty close one hundred percent so we complete now and it will perform some configuration it said that the prepare for free Wi-Fi projector on our computer so it's running on 5.1 version of this software right now and it used to be like 4.1 4.2 before when I use it till now I don't really need this software anymore as I my mobile phone got a free internet everywhere so I'm not gonna care about any hotspot but I'm gonna make this video anyway to show you guys how to share internet from your computer to your iPhone iPad or any Android device or maybe all type of smartphone smart tablet on the planet So the configuration might take some few minutes. We'll be ready in a second. Again, this is no additional charge on the top of it. Okay, so we got the button in here, the icon. Software actually successfully installed it. It just only need to run for some few configuration
it's been running okay so now probably I got some error I think let me press this one oh so they don't have the additional driver for that so it run a configuration and detectors that there there is no additional driver so it have so it will automatically detect the driver and download it for you also install it automatically okay so after the download process and the installation a moment ago that is it is not successfully installed and not successfully downloaded I'm not sure why it happened probably because I am out of China because when I'm in China this is working correctly so I am going to skip that process and skip the problem and to only show you some guide about how to set up the SSID and the password also how to start the, the hotspot so once you have installed this on your computer you will have the icon right here and also at the bottom bar you will see this one the logo of the Wi-Fi with some kind of band sign so that it show that the Wi-Fi is not working yet so if, it, if you don't see this icon probably you have to open this by yourself manually open or if you already see this on the bar click on it and you will see this tiny window pop up all you have to do is click on the blue in here click on it and it will automatically start the hotspot it will set up the configuration and start the hotspot and you also have the Wi-Fi the SSID and also password inside but if you want to if you want to customize the SSID and password just click on the pencil icon here it will show the SSID name and the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password so you can choose whatever you want the existed name or you can use your own SSID like hi there and password would be up from 8 to 13 character or more or less it's up to you so after you have finished for example like that now after you finish setting up all of this stuff just click the blue button here so it will confirm the Wi-Fi the SSID and the Wi-Fi password and then go ahead and press on the blue one in here and it will start the Wi-Fi automatically but due to some problem I have right now maybe it's not gonna run correctly and if you're not facing any problem just following the process and you're good to go and also thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming video bye for now